Okay, so after a lovely little productive swim, we've got lots of beautiful sea urchins, and we need a little bit of a snack so we can get some energy so we can go back out there again. So, I'm gonna take some of these sea urchins. I'm just gonna wedge that in there. There goes our seaweed. So, I'm gonna open this little bad boy up. Now, with this, I wouldn't recommend doing this at uh, yourself in your hand because it is actually a little bit dangerous. I'd be using a pair of scissors or wear a glove when you're doing it, but it's okay. We'll get there. So we're just going to open it up nicely so we can get some of the lovely meat out. Okay. Now if we do this really nice and carefully, I should be able to fling out almost all the the guts and everything in one go and then leave a really beautiful, clean, lovely sea urchin just waiting to be eaten inside. Okay, here we go. Sure. And look at that. So if you're really, really careful, well, it's still got all the liquid inside get it really lovely and beautiful. We're gonna give it a little bit of a wash in the salt water there. Pull out a little bit more of the bits and bobs that we don't want. Another little quick rinse. And there we have a really, really beautiful, lovely cleaned sea urchin that is ready to get a snack from. So, I'm gonna put that right there so we can have a little look. We've got some lovely uh, sushi rice for you that we've cooked. And then we've got over here, we get a little bit of some roasted nori sheets. So we're gonna just, we're gonna double them up because it's nice to get them a little bit thicker. So we're gonna grab a little bit of rice. We're gonna load it up in here. All right, then we're gonna put that batch down in there so I can, um, get this happening. So we've got a lovely sea urchin. So we're going to bring out one of the beautiful big tongues. And we're going to put it really beautifully on here. Now we're going to be, we're not, we're going to be nice and greedy here because we've got lots of it. Look at that. We're going to load this bad boy up. Okay. So then we're on to the sauce and our secret ingredient that's going to help kind of bring everything together for this. So we've got a bit of our beautiful Ronin kelp here. So, so a roasted wild bull kelp that's been foraged from the Great Ocean Road and with a little bit of wild garlic and pink peppercorn leaf. So a soy sauce made from all these beautiful things. So we're going to open him up. second. I'm going to grab our little package of nori and our sea urchins and our rice and then we're going to give this a really beautiful healthy drink just to get, get that seasoning and that flavor all into the urchin and into the rice. There we go. Then just to top it off we've got some beautiful wild garlic flowers here that we found from in and around the, uh, the shoreline. So some wild garlic flowers. So they're going to give it a lovely little beautiful kind of allium and kind of garlic aroma, but with a little bit more floral notes. We've got some lovely little sorrel flowers. So they're super, super lemony, super sour. And then, there we have it, a beautiful little snack. And I am going to go to town and just smash this little puppy. Oh. That is absolutely d delicious. And it's going to give me so much energy to be able to get back out in the water for another couple of hours. And as tricky as that may look, it's not. It's real super simple. From ingredients all in and around here. Finished off with a really great sauce. And this, we're going to be able to provide the recipe for you guys as well. So anybody can make this.
All you're gonna do is just get out of the house and jump in the water and find yourself some merchants. And if you can't get them from straight from here, you head on down to South Melbourne Market or somewhere else and you'll be able to replicate and make the exact same thing as we've just made.